みなさんこんにちは花と申しますサンブネイルはこうになっていますがまだまだ顔を出して話す自信が全くありません前の動画ではセンテンスファイニングという勉強方法について話をしましたがまだまだ詳しく紹介していませんので今から紹介しようと思いますこの勉強方法は自分にも合わせて書いた部分もありますし私は教科書とともにこの勉強方法を使っていますでは始めましょう I will be speaking in English from now on, but before I show you my way to sentence mining, I want to talk about the psychology behind and I want to clarify some important terms and softwares you might need to know before starting. Sentence mining focuses on understanding sentences instead of translating words or whole sentences in your head. You just read the sentence and decide whether you could understand and the main point is that you get the sentences from real life, native content, which makes remembering extremely easy. This term is used when you have only one word in the entire sentence that you don't understand. I focus on this type as well. It is a learning technique which uses the psychological spacing effect and it is usually performed with flashcards. New and difficult flashcards are shown more frequently, older and less difficult cards are shown less frequently. The best SRS flashcard making software, in my opinion, is Anki. So we know the basic terms now, and I will show you what they really mean. I quickly change to my computer here, you can see Anki. Yeah, I will also make a video about how to make Anki cute. So let's see the card. This one is an older card, it's out to review now. And this one is a newly introduced card. I won't be explaining much about Anki because there are many detailed videos on YouTube. I recommend you Matt vs Japan's channel on everything about Anki and sentence mining if you want to have a deeper knowledge. So what I usually do in my sentence mining session, I open Netflix, just choose an anime or a drama, add matching subtitles and copy and paste sentences to Anki. I have an add-on, so it creates readings immediately. And I search up for the meaning in a monolingual dictionary, but I recommend beginners to use a bilingual one. Also, beginners should choose easier content. I collected some in my previous video. So I just paste everything and my card is done. So I have my iPad. With myself, and I will just click the dark color to review. And I have my card here. And I, what I do is just read the card, but I couldn't read this one. <laughs> so, uh, what I do is just read the card. Kohan, neko ni kohan, koban. If I didn't know the card, then I press again, and if I knew the card, then I press good. I only use the two buttons, again and good. And I continue like this, and I try to like copy what I heard in the certain movie or a certain anime. So yeah, that's what I do when I do revision. It is important to state that sentence mining works better with immersion. Immersion is basically that you watch lots of native content such as Netflix, YouTube, anime, drama, you read books or comics in your target language every free minute you have. But you shouldn't put a pressure on yourself. Remember that seeing actual content 
actual structured sentences in your target language will help you on your journey better than robot sounding textbook sentences would. I still use textbooks because I just love using them, but I'm more focused on sentence finding now. I hope you found this video useful and stay tuned for the next one. Bye bye!